In the previous lecture, we had discussion on lumped and distributed elements, and now we are going to understand what are linear and nonlinear elements. And we will begin our discussion with linear element. An element is said to be linear when there is a linear relationship between the excitation and the response. So there must be a linear relationship between the excitation which is the input and it can be voltage or current and the response which is the output and it can also be voltage or current. Now what do we mean by the linear relationship? Linear relationship means on increasing or decreasing the excitation the response increases and decreases linearly. For example, we know in case of resistors, the voltage across the resistor is equal to the current through the resistor multiplied to the resistance. Or we can say that V is proportional to I. Why? Because R is a constant. And therefore, when we plot the VI characteristics for the resistor we will have the plot like this where the slope of this line is equal to 1 over resistance. So you can see that on increasing the voltage the current is increasing linearly and therefore resistor is a linear element. Now we will move on to the next point the relationship between the excitation and the response of a linear element follows the law of homogeneity and the law of additivity and therefore we can say that the linearity property is the combination of homogeneity and additivity properties and now we will understand homogeneity and additivity properties in detail and for this I have taken this simple circuit in which we have two elements. This is element 1 and this is element 2. Element 1 is providing the voltage to element 2. Let's say the voltage it is providing is E T. So we can say that element 1 is our source of excitation and the excitation is the voltage E T. And depending on the value of excitation and the nature of element 2, there will be current through element 2 which will remain same through element 1 in this case. And this current is our response. I will call it R T. So we can say that we are providing the excitation E T to our element 2. 2 and then we are getting the response equal to RT and here the excitation ET is the voltage and response RT is the current. Now we will multiply alpha to our excitation and then we will provide it to our element 2 and there are two possibilities. In the first possibility, the response will be equal to alpha times RT and in the second possibility, the response will not be equal to alpha times RT. And when response is equal to alpha times RT, we say the element is satisfying the law of homogeneity. And when the response is not equal to alpha times RT, we say the element is not satisfying the law of homogeneity. So this is all you should know about the law of homogeneity. And now we will talk about the law of additivity. Let's say we are providing the excitation equal to E1T to our element 2. And for this excitation, we are getting the response R1T. Then we are providing 
another excitation e to t and this time we are getting the response equal to r to t now we will add e1 t and e2 t we will add the two excitations and then we will provide the resultant excitation to our element 2 and again we have two possibilities in the first possibility the response is equal to r1t plus r2t r1t plus r2t and in the second possibility the response is not equal to r1t plus r2t now when the response is equal to r1t plus r2t that is the response in the first case added to the response in the second case we say that the element is following the law of additivity and when the response is not equal to r1t plus r2t we say the element is not following the law of additivity and the element will be linear only when the law of homogeneity and law of additivity both are satisfied even if one out of them is not satisfied we will say the element is non-linear the next point is about linear element and ohm's law we have completed the ohm's law and the ohm's law is applicable only to linear elements so now we are done with linear element and let us try to understand the definition of non-linear element an element is said to be non-linear when there exists a non-linear relationship between the excitation and the response this means on increasing or decreasing the excitation the response does not increase or decrease linearly and one example of nonlinear element is diode we know the diode current ID is equal to the reverse saturation current IS inside the bracket E power voltage across the diode divided by eta VT minus 1 and using this relation when you plot the VI characteristics of diode you will find it is something like this in the forward biased region so from the characteristics it is clear that current ID is not increasing linearly with increase in voltage VD and therefore diode is a non-linear element and when we have the non-linear element either law of homogeneity or additivity fails so I hope you now understand what are non-linear elements and there is one important point which you must remember every linear element must exhibit the bi-directional property and vice versa is not true this means every linear element is bi-directional in nature but the bi-directional element may or may not be linear now combining the two properties we can conclude that the characteristics curve of a linear element will follow only one equation of a straight line and will pass through the origin this property will help you in solving the last example out of four examples we are having here in the first example we can see that current i becomes constant after some time after this particular voltage current i becomes constant and therefore on increasing the voltage i is not changing linearly and therefore this is the characteristics of non linear element the second example is the homework for you you have to tell me whether the element having this characteristics is linear or non-linear 
in the third example we have the linear relationship between current i and voltage v you can see that throughout the change is linear the characteristics is having only one straight line this means the characteristics is following only one equation of the straight line and also the line is passing through the origin therefore this is the characteristics of linear element the fourth and the last example is homework for you so try to find out the answers for the second and fourth examples and once you have them post them in comment section now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one